Hello and welcome to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Alex Redmond. It's a fact of life that your vision will change as you get older. There are age-related conditions and diseases that can rob you of more than just your eyesight. And poor vision can lead to loss of independence and self-esteem and can also contribute to dangerous situations such as car accidents or even taking the wrong medications. But there is hope. Tonight, we will be discussing the importance of senior safety and vision and what you can do about it. Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates is here to answer your questions. She is a board-certified ophthalmologist, a cataract and LASIK surgeon, and a high-tech intraocular lens replacement specialist. She's also joined by Seth Holloway. He's the Business Development Director of Brookdale Senior Living, who will share important information and tips to help you and your loved ones. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you so much for having yeah, us. Thank yes, you. and of course, Seth, you're new to the show, and tonight we're going to be talking about seniors and safety and how poor vision can put you in dangerous situations. And of course, you uh, run a senior assisted living facility and retirement center, Brookdale Senior Living. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Certainly, I'd love to, and thank you again for having me this, this evening. Uh, Brookdale Senior Living is a leading senior living provider in the nation. We serve 67,000 residents nationwide uh, across 35 states in over 650 communities. Our mission is to enrich the lives of those we serve with compassion, respect, excellence, and integrity. And we offer services such as independent living or retirement living, assisted living, Alzheimer's dementia care. Within the Sarasota area, Sarasota, Venice, Bradenton, we have eight uh, unique communities offering all these different services. All right. Well, um, and how would you, uh, Dr. McCabe, how would you work with Seth with Brookdale Senior Living? You know, it's so important to work with either the community that the patient is in. If they're in a facility, then their caretakers, the people who are checking in on them, and kind of the people can help them to navigate in the world they're in, or family members. And not everybody has a family member that they can bring with them. But if they're in a facility like Seth, then they often have other people that are associated with that facility that can help. So it allows us to have a partnership in how we take care of patients. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up the phone calls because we are live tonight. So if you are a senior with vision problems, or perhaps you're at home, you're with your family, and maybe you have a senior that lives with you, your mother, your father, your grandparent, pick up the phone and call us because Dr. McCabe and Seth are here to help you answer your questions and possibly give you tips that can help you if you have poor vision that can help improve your quality of life. Now, you guys are all over the pl place, Brookdale Senior Living. Yes. What sets you apart from other providers? Well, that's an excellent question. I think what sort of differentiates us from other providers in the senior living um, sphere, shall we say, is we offer a personalized approach to care. And what that means is it's not just a terminology, but you've heard of the terminology assisted living. We offer personalized assisted living. And what that is, it's sitting down with the prospect, the, the potential resident and the family to find out exactly what the care needs are. We want to get to know that person on an individual one-on-one -on -one basis so we can then tailor the care needs. I would say it's almost a la carte senior living. It's not just, you know, you're put into a single category. It's getting to know you individually and it's getting to provide the care that you need to increase your independence and maintain that throughout. And of course we are live tonight and we'd love to hear from you. Our phone number is 361. 4675. That's 361-4675 with your questions about poor vision if you're a senior or if someone in your home maybe needs help. So Dr. McCabe, um, you know Seth was talking about customized living, customized this and that. Mm -hmm. With seniors when they have eye problems, do they have eye problems that only affect seniors? What are some of the common eye problems that do affect seniors? Well you know all of the eye problems that affect seniors you know that we see are things that happen more commonly when patients are older. Some things can happen even when you're younger. Of course, you can have cataracts uh, that develop more commonly when you're older, but children can even be born with cataracts. So we see cataracts most commonly, macular degeneration, glaucoma. Those are really the three big things that are, happen in the senior population. And it's why when you're older, we really recommend that you come in once a year for an eye exam. Sometimes patients aren't able to interact with their environment and the people around them are so key in determining whether or not you know, they're functioning the way they should. So that's something where, how do you see that playing in your facility, Seth? Is there like caretakers or people come in and interact with them? Certainly, that's an excellent point, Dr. McCabe. 
excellent point. Um, in, in an assisted living environment and within our communities, we have what we call care associates, and care associates play a vital role um, in working with each of our residents and getting to know them on a one-to-one -one basis. We're able to develop a care plan for each individual resident to ensure to maximize independence, maximize dignity, and provide a high quality of life, and that's just very key. In addition, on each on, on side of each of our communities, we have what we call an innovative senior care um, therapy program with speech, occupational, physical therapy provided, and those therapists also participate with our health and wellness team to make sure we provide a holistic approach to care. Yeah, that's, that's great, really. I mean, it's that kind of partnership that makes such a difference. I had a patient actually come in today that um, is, it's a lady who, she really has very poor vision in each eye, and she's had a kind of a chronic condition. The surface of her eye is in very, in very good health, a lot of dry eye and some chronic infections, and um, it's really that conversation I have with her caregiver more than the patient just because she's got some problems with her memory that really helps me to determine if the care that we're giving her is being effective. So yeah, it's, that's really important and having that same person who really intimately knows the patient come with them is key. Seth, what are some tips that you guys would do for some of your residents at Brookdale Senior Living? What would you do to help them throughout their house or their apartment? to little tips that you can do to help them find things if their vision isn't good? Certainly. Well, part, as I mentioned, the care team is part of, you know, assisting folks with who have, uh, you know, reduced vision or di vision difficulties. Some of the things we do, we may use um, colored coat hangers to help people if they have, like, a, t a difficult time matching clothing. We use reflective tape along lines to help people navigate their room easier. Whatever we can really do. Uh, we, we do education techniques. Part of that's bringing in eye associates a lot of times to provide information on glaucoma, um, uh, macular degeneration, which my grandmother does suffer from, we just recently found out. And so it's really, it's a holistic approach. It's incorporating not just the services we provide at our communities, it's incorporating a community focus yeah. with the eye associates. Do you find, Dr. McCabe, that seniors are resistant to come in for eye exams? Are they fearful because they fear that they're losing their independence or that they're just scared? Yeah. Oh, a lot of times, you know, it's so common for me to see a patient who they may have very poor vision and they're, and this may not even be necessarily some of your, you know, uh, patients who are not out there and in, involved in the community, but patients who are driving, who really have suffered with poor vision driving, poor night vision particularly, who just kept driving because they thought if they came in, we were going to take their license away. And so it's kind of a hazard for the patient, it's a hazard for whoever's in their car, and it's a ha hazard really for all of us who are on the street um, if they don't feel confident enough to come in. So yeah, that's, that's something we see really commonly. All right, if you would like to call in with a question for Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates or speak to Seth about Brookdale Senior Living, we'd love to hear from you. Our number is 361-4675. That's 361-4675. We're talking about seniors and safety with poor vision and how they can help you. So pick up the phone, call in, and we're going to take a break. We'll take your calls when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Alex Redmond. Tonight we are joined by Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates and also we are joined by the Developmental Director of Brookdale Senior Living, Seth Holloway, answering your questions about how they can help you see better if you are a person of a certain age. Our phone number is 361-4675. Don't be shy. Pick up the phone and call us. Maybe your grandmother's sitting next to you. Maybe she can't see the television. So go ahead and call. They have tips for you. How common are low vision problems with seniors? Because you must find this all the time. Actually, way too common, unfortunately. Uh, we see uh, in, in individuals who are over the age of 80, it's um, likely that one in four individuals will suffer from a, a chronic condition such as macular degeneration or glaucoma. So there's a very high incidence. Um, and a lot of times these go undiagnosed or untreated because it's not necessarily a visible um, a firm, you know, issue that people are dealing with. So it's not like a broken leg, it's not like a bruise. This is something that requires people to sit down, have a conversation with the senior or the person who has the condition, and possibly, you know, do some additional testing to find out what the need is. But it's very, it's very um, prevalent. You know, actually, I was thinking about that as we are sitting here talking about it because I had a patient today. It seems like I had all the patients maybe that might have been in your facility. But I had a patient today who she came in in October and she had a diagnosis of cataracts. She really wanted to have her cataracts out. And she hadn't come back until now. 
And I wasn't even sure what had happened in the interim. There's lots of things that can happen in somebody's life. But she had had so much difficulty navigating different uh, steps and things like that. She'd actually fallen and hurt her back terribly. And she'd been in the hospital, actually, for, for a month or so and was just getting back on her feet and able to come in for her cataract surgery. And that's the kind of thing that if there are caregivers or people who are interacting in your facility with the patient and see them having those difficulties navigating, we can get to the point where we're helping a patient before they have something really bad happen like fall like that. All right, the number Perfect. here is 361-4675. That's 361-4675. And Amanda's on the line. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for calling in. What would you like to ask? Um, I have a question for Dr. McCabe. My mom has the beginning of dementia, and I noticed that she's losing interest in watching TV and things like that. Now, I kind of thought it was the dementia, but now maybe it's her eyes. Is there something that you can do to examine her to see if that's the problem? Yeah, actually, um, there are a lot of patients that I see that are in those early stages of Alzheimer's where it's often hard even as the physician when a patient comes in to get a good history because the patient at that moment unless they're doing something that is impairing either a visual impairment is making more difficult actually just doesn't remember to say hey I had this other problem and so that's where family members are so key but if you can get your mom to come on in, what we can do is take a look. We'll be able to get a vision for that moment, how she's seeing, and look at the overall eye health. And it's a, a very frequent to find problems that really were undetected. Uh, it might be something reversible. Hopefully it is uh, if it's vision related. And it's remarkable the improvement and interaction in the environment that can occur that people may have attributed to dementia that really was something treatable and reversible. So we, we'd love to see your mom and, and hopefully we can do something to help her. And we'd love to hear from you. Our phone number is 361-4675. That's 361-4675 with your questions for Dr. McCabe or Seth Holloway. And we have Marilyn on the line. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome to the show. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Good evening. I'm wondering if there are any free services for seniors for cataract removal and if Medicare helps you with any of this um, uh, financial situation. Sure. If you can answer that question for me, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, actually, cataracts, if that's the problem that you have, is a medical problem. And a lot of patients think that it's uh, covered by vision insurance. And if they don't have vision insurance, that they're not covered in any way. But it's covered by medical ins insurance, so it's covered by Medicare. And Medicare would uh, cover at least a large portion of the uh, costs, not only of the surgery itself, but of the evaluation. So it's important to come in and have that evaluation. Um, we do, unfortunately, have sometimes patients who, for one reason or another, don't have uh, Medicare, they don't have other kinds of financial means, and they don't have insurance. And we at the Eye Associates are committed to the community as well. And we do find ways, one way or another, that either there are services out there or we will donate services to help uh, cover what needs to be done for a patient. Because honestly, the most important thing to me is your vision and taking care of your eye health. So we'll make it work out in whatever way we need to. But Medicare does cover your, your eye health issues. All right, Marilyn, thank you for your phone call. And the phone lines are once again open. If you have a question that you would like to ask either Dr. McCabe of the Eye Associates or Seth Holloway of Brookdale Senior Living, we would love to hear from you. The number here is 361-4675. That's 361-4675. Now, Seth, you also have a program at Brookdale Senior Living that helps people. That's your Care 3 Low Vision Program. What is it? Yes, I, thank you. Uh, we, we, through our Innovative Senior Care um, Physical Therapy uh, Department, we have what we call the Low Vision Screening Program, CARE 3. And what that is, is it's a chance to, we look at adaptive technologies for seniors that may be able to really benefit them, such as magnification glasses, you know, large print text. There's even technology now that, um, you know, increases the font for computers and things to that degree. We do a lot of education and training, and what we really focus on is trying to maximize what vision is still there. Um, you know, there's a good chance that a lot of times we may not be able to get back vision completely, but we want to maximize, you know, the, the experience for the resident. 
Now, for the resident or for a senior coming into your yes. program, what should they expect when they go in to first get tested in this CARE 3 program? That's an excellent question. Initially, you'll sit down and we'll have an assessment with our health and wellness director, and family is definitely welcome as well. We want to make, make it a, um, you know, a, a team approach. And then we'll come in with our occupational therapist, and an occupational therapist works to increase, you know, um, you know, increase function and um, maneuverability and bring back a lot of those um, services that you may have needed and, and care that you may have needed. So. Mm -hmm. All right, if you'd like to call in with a question, 361-4675. That's 361-4675. And Dorothy's on the line. Hi, Dorothy. Welcome to Local Doctors on Call. Go. Oh, we can't hear you, Dorothy. You speak Hello. up a little. There we go. Hi, Dorothy. Go ahead. Oh, I should talk? Okay. Well, my question is, I have been taking Reclast. It's an osteoporosis drug. It's an IV infusion. My last one was August 18th, and for about, it'll be two and a half years in August that I have had horrible eye problems. I had no idea what it was from, and I'm pretty sure it's from the Reclast. Have you heard of this, and how long does it take for Reclast to get out of your system? Well, I'm going to tell you that I don't know of an ocular side effect of request, and, but I would be happy to see you because there are other things that can be affected by that treatment that secondarily will affect your vision. So what we want to do is look and make sure that we are treating what we can and that we've evaluated whether or not um, you have something secondary that, that is being affected by your treatment. So the best thing to do is come on in. Uh, we'll take a look. It could be that you've developed some severe dry eye. That's a pretty common thing. Uh, or it could be that you've developed some other problems with the retina. And so we would want to really take a very uh, detailed evaluation of your ocular health. All right, thank you for your phone call. We want you to stay tuned, though, because in a few minutes, we're going to give you the information that you need to either get a hold of Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates or Seth Holloway of Brookdale Senior Living, because now we have Fran on the line who's been holding. Fran, thanks for holding. Go ahead. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm 81 years old. I'm in good health. I walk every day. I was told by my physician that my blood pressure was up a little, and he put me on the lowest dose of blood pressure medication. Then when I went for my checkup in December, he said my potassium was down a little, and he'd like me to take a potassium pill. I took the pill, and two days later, I was so crippled, I could lucky stand up. Is it the pill that has caused this, or is it an overdose of the potassium? I really don't know. Right. Well, when you're, when, first of all, um, I would definitely go back to your prescribing doctor of your pota potassium to ex explain what your symptoms have been, and the level of your potassium needs to be monitored. So I'm sure that they're going to want to take a blood sample and see where you're at with that. But, uh, but I would definitely bring that question back to your prescribing physician, and, uh, and you need to have that answered for sure. All right, friend, thank you for your phone call, and good luck. Um, if you would like to get a hold of Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates, you may go ahead and call their main number, which is 866-865-2020. Again, 866-865-2020, or go online to theeyeassociates.com. And also, if you'd like more information on Brookdale Senior Living, you may contact them on the web, and that's Brookdale Senior Living or BrookdaleLiving.com. Just BrookdaleLiving.com, or pick up the phone and call 306-9788. That will take you directly to Seth Holloway, and he'll be able to help you. We're going to go ahead and take a little break. We're live tonight. Our number is 361. 4675. We'd love to hear from you and we'll take your calls when we come back. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. Tonight we are joined by Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates and also Seth Holloway of Brookdale Senior Living. We're talking about seniors, safety, and low vision problems and how that can be a dangerous situation, but there is hope and there is help and they're sitting right here. So um, we were talking a, a lot about the different issues that affect seniors and how they can be helped, but do you have any examples of a person or people at Brookdale Senior Living that you could share with us? 
Certainly. It's a, it's a great question. I, we recently had a, um, a, one of our residents who was very outgoing, engaged in, in the uh, community setting. We initially saw her, and to our care associates, she started pulling back a little bit from engaging in social opportunities and the dining, coming down for um, you know um, meal and that kind of thing and dinner. Um, so you know we followed up with her a little bit uh, through our, our, our Care Three Low Vision Screening Program. The therapist followed up with her, and we found out that she was a little self-conscious because she was having a difficulty matching her outfits, matching her blouses, and things to that degree. And she became self-conscious of that. So working privately in, in her room and in, with our therapist and with our care team, we were able to devise a system for her with colored uh, hangers and bobby pins. So she was able to regain that dignity and that self-confidence. They go about matching her clothes together. And once again, she's back enjoying meals and being the social butterfly that she is. That is Don't you think such that's a so cool important. story? <laughs> I, really I love do. that. Because yeah. if I were there, you know, I would, I would have, I think, I mean, I hope I would still Certainly. be caring about my appearance and everything, you know, and, mm -hmm. and I, I think that's wonderful that I see so many just lovely patients that I have who are so decked out and so put together. And I, and I know that that's what they would want to continue to do if they weren't able to see, you know, what their outfit looked like too. So I think that's such an empowering thing. It is, absolutely. Well, we are live tonight and both uh, Seth Holloway of Brookdale Senior Living and Kathy, Dr. Kathy McCabe of the Eye Associates are here to answer your questions about seniors, safety, and low vision problems. We have Brenda on the line. Thanks for calling. Hello. Um, we're currently looking for placement for my aunt. And what I was wondering is if there are communities near uh, the Eye Associates and uh, Brookdale communities, and if there are, if uh, someone moves in, do they transport their residents to to your office, to the Eye Associates? Uh, that's an excellent question, and thank you for calling. Um, I did want to share, yes, one of our communities is right down the street on Bee Ridge Road, Waterside Retirement Estates. It offers independent living uh, personalized assisted living accommodations. We have private duty home health on site as well as our therapy team. And yes, we do have transportation uh, to and from scheduled appointments. So we take our residents out to different fun events, different theater events, all different types of things, but also to the eye associates and to other you know, uh, appointments that they have for their health, certainly. Hope that answers your question. All right, thank you for your phone call. And our number here is 361-4675. And we have Josephine on the line. Josephine, thanks for calling in. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, my question is about the shots you get in your eye. Uh, I'm a diabetic. Right now, my diabetes seems to be fairly well under control. Uh, I have a little macular degeneration and also... Um, blindness. I'm considered totally blind. I can see to get around, but I can't read or drive a car or anything like that. And I'm concerned about the shot you get in your eye. Does it hurt? Uh, does it do you any good? You know, that type of thing. Yeah, and actually you have a couple of different uh, diagnoses that might be something that we would utilize uh, a medicine that you would put in the eye. Um, your diabetes, if it were to the point where there was a lot of swelling in the center part of your vision and we felt that improving that with the medication would help your vision, then that might be something that would be treated with an injection in the eye. And then the type of, wet, of macular degeneration that is the wet type is today most commonly treated with repeat injections in the eye, which I know sounds awful, uh, but they are painless. Um, they're very quick and once a patient has had that and gotten over the fear of actually having the injection done. It's really, really not a big deal to come in and have that done. It's uh, pretty quick and painless. So if you need it, don't be afraid of it because it can really help you. And, and I must say, you know, I had uh, Dr. Kathy McKay perform a procedure on me that was an in-office procedure with a laser, and she was good on her word. She told me everything she was going to do. There were no surprises, and it was painless and definitely helped me. So if you would like to reach out to the Eye Associates, here's some information. I'll say the number slowly so that you can take your time and write it down. It is 866-865-2020. Again, that's 866-865-2020. And you may go on to theeyeassociates.com 
And if you would like to find out more about Brookdale Senior Living, you may go to brookdaleliving.com or you can pick up the phone and call Seth Holloway at 306-9788. You know, we're coming up on the last couple of minutes of the show, and I think that it's very important that we get out there any tips or any information that you would like to get out there for people. This was, this was a great story about um, the lady that you know with coordinating her clothing. So if, if you have some final thoughts on that, I think that would be a great thing to share. Certainly. I guess my parting thought would be to everyone, you know, make sure that, you know, you be, you're proactive in your approach. You know, don't suffer in silence. These are conditions that a lot of times are treatable and we can improve quality of life, especially Dr. McCabe on the invasive side with the eye associates. In the assisted living, independent living environment, we can also do a lot of great things. You know, you build a, a strong social network. You have the support system in place to help you. Transportation, uh, laundry, medications are provided. All these different things are there. So, you know, take the time, do some dil due diligence, come into a community, check it out, go check out the eye associates and do something for yourself that's going to, you know, be worthwhile. And don't be scared of the eye exam, right, <laughs> Dr. Right. McKay? Well, I was just going to echo what you said, Seth, because, you know, coming in early is really important. And sometimes patients feel bad. They go, you know, for instance, the caller that we had, her mother, if she were to come in and it turned out it wasn't her eye problem, no problem. You got an exam and we were able to see what it was. We are out of time. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch Local Doctors on Call. Like us on Facebook. And remember, it's your health.